Rub up your engines! Today I'm gonna to talk about something that really peeves me, and that's shops trying to rip off people. In this case, lady took her car in for the yearly inspection. Now the price for the inspection was fair, $21.99, but the rest of the estimate, maybe not so fair. $2,755.59. Now people often ask me, Scotty, why do these inspection places even do inspections for 20 something dollars? Is it worth it? The main reason a lot of places do the yearly inspection is to get you to come in and try to sell you stuff. And in this case, $2,755 worth of stuff. Luckily, my customer was wise. They got their inspection done, but they didn't pay for anything else. So the first lesson to be learned is, when you have to have your car inspected for the yearly inspection, pick the place you go to wisely. From my experience, it's often best to go to places that's all they do, like quicker stickers. All they do is inspection stickers. Now they might change oil and stuff like that, but they don't sell tires. They don't try to sell you a whole bill of goods. They make their money by inspecting car after car after car. There's a mechanic down the street I know. He decided to train one of his guys to be the official inspector to inspect people's cars once a year. I said, why are you going through all that trouble? And he said, because that'll get him in here and I can sell him stuff. And man, that was years ago, has he sold people stuff. I have seen people who went to him and then came to me. He was just charging them for everything, whether they needed it or not. That's a problem in a big city like Houston. These garages have big overhead. Say they're overheads. 250, 350, $500,000 a year. They have to charge that kind of money just to break even. And possibly even worse are these chain stores. The sales guy who's trying to sell you this stuff. He gets a percentage of everything. A lot of the salary is based on him selling you stuff. Years ago, a friend of mine used to work at one of these places and he quit. And the reason he quit was because he was more honest with people. And he said, yeah, you don't need a break job. It's not worn out yet. And then the manager came to him and said, look, sell them a brake job. What do they know about brakes? Sell them a brake job. If you tell 10 people they need a brake job, hey, maybe six or seven will say, okay, look at the money we're making. So pick where you get your cars inspected closely. And like I say, if it's a place that's, that's all they do, they're just inspecting them. They don't have the ulterior motive of trying to sell you stuff. Now let's take this 18 year old Tahoe. Okay, when we go inside, we can see got some wear to it but it's still running strong and it's got 149,589 miles on it. Now 18 years and all that miles you're gonna see a little bit of dirt here and there but it's still running pretty strong. Now this sleazy chain tried to sell the valve cover gaskets. Yeah they're all getting a little greasy but look it's not even dripping on the exhaust manifold. When it drips on the exhaust manifold it's pretty worn, you'll smell it, it's annoying, you'd want to change them. But look, that's all dry under there. It does not need valve cover gaskets. Which these guys wanted to sell for $446.79, which is a ridiculous price to begin with, because it's not such a hard job on this V8. Take off the intake manifold or anything. There's just bolts on this side, and we go to the other side, there's bolts here. It's a pretty easy job. So these guys basically were attempting to put insult on top of ripping them off. Not only does it not need the job, but they were totally overcharging for it in the first place. Look at the tires. Lots of tread here, lots of tread here. We'll go around the other side. Lots of tread here. And let's check the back ones. And lots of tread here. These tires can certainly go a lot longer. People trying to sell stuff. Now, if she'd been having a problem with her tires, then I'd start thinking. But she has no problems. They're not leaking. She doesn't have to add air to them. She's not getting flat tires. It's just sales. They're trying to sell stuff under here, too. The engine doesn't look that bad. It's pretty dry on the bottom. And it's not dripping any oil on the ground. Not a drop. These old ones, usually there's a lot more oil over the place. This thing's pretty clean for its age. But what are these clowns dry selling her? Oil pan gasket, for which they want $428. Again, it's not that bad of a job. 
and engine seals. $373.29. They're not even dripping and leaking the crown. They're not even all that dirty around them. Heck, my old Celica's ton times dirtier than that, but it still doesn't drip on the ground, and it's been that way for decades. Now, as a car ages, things will seep a little bit. But as I said, on this thing, no big deal, but it's pretty dry for a car that's 18 years old with all those miles. I normally see a little bit more grease here and there, but even if it had that, it's not even dripping on the ground. It doesn't mean anything. And check the rear end. Now see what I say, you get a little bit of grease. It's got some grease on it, but I checked it and it's still full of fluid. But of course, they're trying to sell it a farm on this too. Axle seals. That means that this part here I'm highlighting should be covered in grease, but no, it's bone dry. And when we check the other side, same thing, it's bone dry too. These guys are just trying to sell her a bill of goods. Things that aren't bad at all. I drive it around. It's not like the bearings are worn and humming real loud. They're quiet, especially for a vehicle with this kind of mileage on it. They're real quiet. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this rip offery is what's making a lot of states starting to change their minds. Recently, many states said we're no longer going to do these state inspections of cars for that very same reason. My college roommate was from Florida. They had an inspection, and the people there, especially the older retired people, we're getting peed living on a small pension. They were getting ripped off at these inspections and they made them change the law so that the state of Florida had to do the inspections themselves where they couldn't repair anything. They could just inspect them. They did it for like a year and the state lost so much money having to run these stations that now they don't inspect them at all in Florida. <laughs> they thought, well, we're not making any money at it, so we'll just stop it entirely. Texas does, right? So you think, well, Texas is safer. Actually, more people die in car wrecks per thousand drivers than in Florida where they have no inspection. And to me, that's totally amazing. Thinking of all the elderly people that retire in Florida, you think they'd be running into things all the time. But no, they have no inspection, safety inspection, they don't have it. Yet, it's safer in Florida than it is in Texas where they have an inspection set up. Here in Texas, the state gets their whatever, 20 something dollar fee. So it's basically a tax on you. Well, I don't mind a 20 something dollar fee, but if that leads to $2,700 worth of repairs that people say you need, not such a great idea. So when you go get your car inspected now, maybe pay a little more attention to where you take it to get inspected and don't get taken for a ride. My customer didn't, they got it inspected. They only paid the 20 bucks. They didn't fork out the 2,700 they wanted for repairs. And don't shell out for leaks that really don't even exist. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Brian T. says, Scotty, I need your help. My daily commute is only three lights away, a quarter of a mile to work and back. It hardly gets warmed up. 6 a.m. I start my car ice cold. Does this hurt my car? Well, yeah, it is if you don't drive it any other place. As long as, let's say, two or three times a month, you take the thing on a highway going 60 miles an hour for at least half an hour, that'll blow all the carbon and stuff out of it. But if you just keep going that quarter mile back and forth, yeah, the engine will carbon up, it won't get the operating temperature, but as long as you take it on trips other times, you know, at least three times a month or so, then it won't really hurt anything. You still got to change your oil if you don't drive it much once a year. If you drive less than like three, five thousand miles a year, you still got to change the oil once a year and filter, but you do want to get it on a highway at least for half an hour, three, four times a month, just to keep everything clean inside. Kyle says, Scotty, saw your video on Scions, looking for a good first car. What do you think of the Scion TC Cooper? Are they any good? They are excellent cars as long as they've been minimally taken care of like any Toyota. You know, they just called them science because it was a marketing thing and after 14 years, Toyota gave up and they said, why should we have all these special dealerships? They're all made in the same place anyways. So they just went back to call them Toyotas. <laughs> You won't have any problem getting parts or anything. All my customers, those they love those cars. The only problem I've ever seen in one was a crazy friend of mine, John, who drives like a lunatic and he had road rage and his had a standard transmission and he revved it so high racing somebody that he blew the engine. But that wasn't the car's fault. It was his fault for driving like an absolute maniac, which he admitted himself. Put a used engine in it, runs like a clock now, and hopefully he's learned his lesson from road rage. He told me he thinks he has, so maybe... <laughs>
Scotty. Bob from Box Pump says, Scotty, my sister recently bought a 2015 BMW 328 Twin Turbo. It's getting close to 90000 with payments of two fifty a month. What do you think about it? I think your sister just invested into an endless money pit. 90,000 miles. I got a customer with that same vehicle who is getting rid of it now because it needed the twin turbos and it was going to be over $5,000 to replace them both. So I think your sister got ripped off royally and she's got any way she can get rid of that thing, get rid of it now. But if she doesn't, whoo, tell her not to put too many miles on that baby because when it breaks, she's going to find out that her $250 a month payment is nothing when she needs a six, seven, eight thousand thousand dollar repair on the stupid thing. They are endless money pits. They're fast. They are fun to drive. There is no arguing that, but they are one of the biggest money pits out there with that twin turbo setup. Yeah, they're fast, but man, when they break down and break down, they do. That one's five years old with 90,000 miles. She's going to regret that unless she only drives it a couple of miles a day. <laughs> So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.